So we know that muscles are best grown if the arm path of the exercise matches the direction of the muscle's fibers. In the case of the rear delt, they run at about a 45 degree angle. This is why some people can end up building massive rear delts without even trying. They perform many of their rows with this 45 degree arm angle and end up growing their rear delts instead of other parts of their back. What I found the most success with was using this 45 degree arm angle during the reverse cable fly, but with a few steps back from the cable to make it more difficult near the beginning of the exercise when the rear delts are more stretched. But you can apply this to the reverse pec deck as well. Move the seat up high and instead of sitting right up against the pad, Scoot your butt back and lean your chest into the pad. This way, your arm angle will now line up better with the rear delts. And if you don't have access to cables or machines, you can do an incline dumbbell row with your arms kept in that 45 degree angle. In all these exercises though, to prevent your mid back muscles from taking over, don't squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push your arms forward to open up your shoulder blades and keep them that way as you pull your elbows back. Now I'm going to share the sets and reps for each exercise at the end of the video, but for now, let's move on to the last exercise. 